Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I'm good. Friday, so I'm happy, right? Like, end of the week, finally. Hey, hey, Layton. I know. And like, it's gonna get dark in two hours or three hours. I'm like, how's it already dark at 5 p.m.? Like, how's it bedtime at 5 p.m.? Right? Like, I don't get it. I'm just waiting for summer, guys. Like, I'm so done. I'm so done with winter. I love winter, but I just miss summer. You can go out, you don't have to wear a coat. Like, just it feels alive and like the new year it always feels like a new year during summer right like it's already damn 8 p.m you know it should get dark at nine like the fairies are so excited you guys came to my class and i'm excited we're gonna just wait for a few more people to join hey hey what's good queen nice to see you hi so what did i miss so far oh we haven't started yet i'm just waiting for a few more people to join there are more people and then i can start i like how we did this in the fairy planet chat <laughs> i know because i'm like it's so intimidating to do it in the class and it's so makes sense if i'm talking about fairies then you know it's been a little lonely in the chat room so i'm like might as well host the class there or host like a little <laughs> discussion there you know guys doesn't she look so good? Like, look at her hair. I gotta do mine. Stop. Now. Stop. <laughs> Your hair always looks good. What are you talking about? Like, look how long it is. I know it's getting there, eh? Oh my god. Yo, and then you showed me the before pictures, and I'm like, no way it grew that much. Like, how? What did you like? Right? What did you do? Magic. I Yay! can't wait for you to get your locks because I know we're gonna be going Yo, in the natural way. As soon as you said it, I've been seeing it on TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. Locks. Everyone has locks, but I'm like, what is going on? The universe is trying to tell me. Have them. you thought about okay. sister lock? No, I haven't really. Like, I'm like, I know if I get into it, I'm gonna like really get into it. So I'm like, I don't know <laughs> when I should like do the research and everything, but I think I will do it soon, very soon. Okay. Tell but... me what you think about sister locks because those are the ones that are really small. Okay. Like they're really oh, the tiny, tiny. Ones? yeah. They're and I kept small and those, but yeah, they they're kind of a like, lot of work. I've seen people dye their locks. Oh, how would that work? Oh yeah, I thought about doing mine. It's really just it almost feels like if you're dying braids, it only like dyes the outside of the lock. Yeah, but like it looks like it's not it's not for me. But, like I'll dye before I do the lock. Like dye my hair. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, I can't wait for you to get locks. Lot gut. I'm excited. It just it grows and it just sits there. You just gotta take care of it. Like what said, color would you what do? color would you do it? I wanted to do it and i was hyped to do it silver for a while and then something was like Maybe you should wait and then i told my mom and she was like you better not you're gonna look like an old man and i was like so then i wanted to do it red and then i was like uh, and then Ooh. i want to do it brown so i was like you know what let me red. just left it and then i think red would eat red would be so good i don't know why it's just that color it's so nice. i thought about it too really? i like the fire but i also want to honor my natural hair color and the lyran hair color like it's always you should like yeah. really black or really blonde Brown, so I'm, like, you know yeah. I'm gonna i'm gonna left it and then when it's time i'm gonna know for it. Oh, angel i love your name well uh, when you said angel i thought it was a different one <laughs> oh stop <laughs> no don't even cash this we can't we can't <laughs> the fairies are here guys they're excited like i feel like i just i should just start flying on the call you know i can't Lucas said, how long Wait, I'm sorry. my hair to be yeah. to have oh you could do them on any length i started with my hair was like you can see the shrinkage bro like this is a lot of growth but like i started my hair when it was like you can start the whenever honestly <laughs> Gabrielle said, my heart chakra is glowing right now. I, bro, okay, you know what? You better just get started okay. right away. My heart's glowing. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm ready. Okay, well, I want it, I want it to be like, I want us to like, you know, turn up our mics a bit later on and just talk about like, I want to hear you guys' experiences, the phase and like, you know, I want to mainly talk about what they do, not essentially what they are. I already did a class about who they are and they want me to kind of explain how can they help you? You know, if you do want to work with them, how can they help you? How can they assist you on your spiritual journey? and i'm gonna start okay so the fairies we all know them i'm sure we all have our own like opinions on them but essentially what they are they're like the caretakers of nature and like i see them as like earth angels like they protect nature they guide nature and everything that's on earth including us and like the animals they take care of them too so whether seely or unseely they have their own part to give a brief description on the seelies and unseelies like the two different kinds unseelies are more towards the dark you know service of self and the seelies are more towards like the light service to the divine source energy and the reason the unseelies became dark is because of all the like pain and trauma they went through on earth when they were in the physical realm so they kind of have their reason for going dark but for this class i'm going to talk about the seely for like the seely phase because they're the ones who i feel like from my personal experience they helped me a lot but for you if you feel like you connect more to the darkest side you could connect to the unseelies but i wouldn't talk a lot about them because i don't
don't have experience working with them. I have like a few notes here, but basically I want to talk about what can they help you with during this incarnation we're in right now. One thing I have to say is the phase, the CV phase, they're so talented. Like, like you think of like, you love music, you love art, you love gardening, anything you love. I'm pretty sure there's a fae out there that can help you with that. They're like so talented and they're just honestly magnificent. Um, now that they're in the 5D, they can actually see the future. So the phase can help you like basically see the future and like not live in time the way we are. And so basically connects in more to the 5D aspect of yourself. Like the phase can help you withdraw a little bit from the 3D if you feel like you're a little too grounded and you want to like get back into the astral, you know? And they can help you just, you know, have a bright imagination and really connect to your inner child that they heal you so much. And like their happiness that they bring is just so like bubbly. And I feel like childish, you know, like childish in a good way, right? A goblin or brownie. Yeah. Okay. So the goblins and brownies, well, the goblins are on sea leaves and the brownies are too. Some of them could be sea leaves, but mostly I see them personally as sea leaves because they've helped me a lot. Like the brownies, they can help you clean. They can help you like, right? They keep me so much in my inner child too. Like I feel like the faith are just like, that's why I see them as angels. They're really pure hearted. And like, I also learned in my astral travel with them one time that they all like have the same heart. Like they connect to like one heart. You know how humans like are really disconnected from each other's like, yes, that's a good movie. But you know how like um humans are like really disconnected from each other. And like some of us, like we don't connect to each other's heart space. The fairies are, well, the seaweeds are the opposite. Like they all have one heart and they can feel when someone is like sad or one of, you know, one of them is like not doing well. They're all there to support each other. It's like a community. And it's like, if one person is down, they're all down. Like it's just like, they're always on the same level. And I just say, yeah, Spider Wick is a good movie. I just recently rewatched it. And if you want to know like what type of fae beings are, you know, there that, that exist, I feel like that movie shows everything. Like the sea leaves, the sea leaves, the different species and like what they are. Obviously there's a little spirits of energy in it because like not all on series are bad, but the ones in the movie are really bad. And then the series are like, so it is extreme, you know, stereotypes, but I feel like like a brief summary of what the phase are. That movie is really good to watch. The one that Cash just put in the chat. Okay. And then I want to talk about like, I have a whole list on what the CV phase can help you with, but they can help you with so much more. I just feel like I had to write this down because I was like, I don't want to forget main points. Okay. The first thing in my experience, because everyone's going to have their own experience, right? With the phase. My experience was communication with the trees and nature. I like, I feel like growing up, I never, I didn't connect with nature the way I do now in a clear sentient way. Like I felt nature, but now I feel the trees I can the plants and like I can actually feel them even more and I believe the phase helped me with that the phase can help you and guide you into really connecting to nature and like Gaia like earth you know oh my god that is so beautiful I love that village that is really nice yeah so you guys can make offerings for the phase like they will love that they're they're just so happy you guys are even on the call and listen to me talk about them right now oh you're so sweet Ravi I love you but okay so about the phase um where was I at yeah nature okay this is my my favorite part talk about the phase nature because you can like you go to a tree and you just connect to the tree and you ask the phase to help you and you're gonna be healing energy from the tree and it's like almost like they're like a bridge between your consciousness to nature's consciousness because you are in nature right they're just there to like guide you and hold your hand like and take you there on the way to like having a deeper connection with nature and trees and the plants and whatever you feel nature is you they can help you connect with because we all know nature exists everywhere around us um and they can also help you with your healing ability so i know a lot of us are like clear sentient and we can like feel energy and we can like tap into other people's energy and sometimes we have to heal ourselves and other people so the faith can help you like really ground yourself being able to tap into your heart chakra so you can so you can really just put that your energy out and like really just put it out your like hand chakras heal someone you know either through like reiki or like whatever way you want to heal in like light language they can help you with that they just like almost clear your thoughts and help you really ground and again every phase different so like if you feel as though a certain phase not helping you with a certain thing properly you can call in other phase you can specify with your intention that i call in this phase to help me with this matter in my life and also i want to talk about manifestations i'm going to talk about them helping with like manipulating energy and stuff because i really love that part but i want to talk about the manifestation they want me to get into that quick so the manifestation they can help you with a lot i feel like that's probably the biggest thing they've helped me with so if you have something you're trying to bring your reality they can help you figure out if it really connects to your soul because I noticed that sometimes when we're manifesting we're manifesting we don't actually need things that are like materialistic things that are not on our path and they can help you connect to your true subconscious you know desires and the things that you actually do need on your path in this incarnation so they can bring that in your reality for you because they are gift givers so if you help them you give them
system offerings, like they can really help you, you know, understand what do I really need in my life right now? And, you know, help you bring that in your reality. And one thing they want me to say is visualizing is so important. Like if you want to manifest with the phase, visualizing is really important because they want to, they want you to see yourself, how it's going to, when you're in that manifestation, like literally imagine yourself in that reality. And like, you know, you don't have to journal, you don't have to write, but if you're going to manifest, you should be visualizing, you know, it's just the, for me, it's the easiest way to bring things in your reality for me. So if everyone's different. You're going to have your own things that work for you, things that may not work for you well. But for me, I feel like visualizing is the most powerful way of manifesting. And obviously your words are really powerful. So like what you say and yeah, ointments, they can help you with like, if you're a herbalist, they can help you make ointments and like, they can tell you like what plants. Um, When I was going through my herbalism journey, I didn't know a lot about plants and like went out in the summer and I'm like, why am I so interested in all these flowers and like peas? And I realized all the ones I was interested in, they were edible. You were able to make oils out of them. And it makes sense because the phase were like direct to me. Be which said in the chat, like they can help you make ointments. And like, if you feel like you, you're tired of using, you know, pharmaceutical stuff and like the stuff the government gives us that's not really healthy, you can make your own oil, like your own body oil. I make everything, make your own body oil. It just takes 30 minutes. I can do all that. I can put all that in the chat if you guys are interested in like recipes to make oils. But if you're interested in herbalism and like being a herbalist and just connecting to nature and creating, the phase can help you with that for sure. Okay, I'm going to go into manipulating energy. So they can help you if you're someone who likes to like play with fire or you like to, you know, play with wind or water, you know, pyrokinesis and all the kinesis, they can help you with that. They can help you direct your energy and really connect and tap into what you feel your element and your soul is connected to the most. They can help you figure that out. So if you feel like you don't know what element you connect to, they can help you that thought to that, you know, experience in a past life where you connected to a certain element and why your soul connected that the most. And then that's going to bring into this rea reality you're in that can help you just embrace the power you have to manipulate energy you know so like i know some people may not feel comfortable man manipulating energy but we do it every day you know just by existing here so they can help you with that for me it was fire they help me with fire pyrokinesis and you know you just practice every day and you also notice that if you light a candle like a lot of people are going to come to your room automatically because they love fire they love the element yeah they can help you with intuition you know just being more aware of things and like noticing things more in your physical reality and also in your dream i think people forget that the phase also exists in the dream realm so if you're having problems not being able to like remember your dreams or know how it you know ties to your physical reality like, oh merfolk oh the mermaids are so beautiful like the mermaids and the merman and like they're so beautiful and the sirens so yeah they're all phase they're all considered phase they you know they operate with the water element i love that Stavros. yeah they can also help you with just positivity you feel sad you feel depressed on the phase call on the cv court you know they can fill your room with energy and one thing i love that they can do is they can literally clean your room even if it's a whole mess it's like energetically it feels so clean and then it's gonna make you want you know to want to clean it in the physical realm so if you feel like you can't do much you can't get up you don't have motivation one day you're really drained just call in the phase and they can help you with that and they're saying too they can help you with school too like you feel like oh, i gotta i gotta do this homework you know make you get up because one thing about them they will control you you're like why am i dancing in a circle at 5 a.m the phase are controlling you like i don't know and you don't even realize it till like you're doing it. why am i baking a cake right now and i'm like oh the phase wanted this cake <laughs> like they will control you to do anything so you feel like you need to study like okay get your butt up and study right now i love them for that <laughs> i'm like they're just i actually so cute. saw a fairy circle in my town I, I remember we talked about this a while ago i'm actually looking for the picture on my phone right now because it's been there since i was born it's really like a circle in the grass where the grass grows a little bit longer than the rest no matter what lawnmower goes it's right here here we go no matter what lawnmower goes over or what happens there's always Whoa. a circle there is that crazy and that's what Yo, i was thinking about a, that's a whole portal right there like yeah, just don't walk in like, yeah, <laughs> when you walk in it's gonna be the whole you're gonna come back with a whole story time i kid you not like that was because we have one here too like in my park ring around the tree oh, that's so really scary. scary and they're still phase in the physical even if it's like no they don't exist in the physical none of them they can show up in the physical if they really like you like honestly they probably won't like they're not really allowed to but they can but no they don't exist you know i see like one or two in the physical 
musical a few times in your life, but like, did they right ever now, talk to you about fire fairies? And like, I remember when I got a few, this is before we were talking so much, they were giving me briefings about, and that's when I started meeting you. They were talking to me about fire fairy because I was so attached to fire as well. They were like, you need to know the story about fire fairies and how it's Whoa. like, how they like fire is the start to everything. So fire is always the first element to make the other elements exist. There was a lot of times where fire fairies were, it's like they were uh, ridiculed and stuff like that. Oh. Like fire fairies in general were not, people just didn't like them for some reason. They were called destructive and stuff like that. Do you know anything uh, about that? No, I don't know a lot, but I, from what they're telling me, they weren't <laughs> accepted in society basically, like the way the other fairies were. And you see how we see mm -hmm. description of fairies, like sparkly with wings. We don't see a lot of like the fairies with like fire, flame and like dark energy or like just not looking as like beautiful, quote unquote mm -hmm. beautiful to what humans see as beautiful. And I think that's what you're saying. Like, it's like they weren't accepted in society based off their looks, based off their energy. They were the classic nature flower fairies that we see you know they were very strong and okay. powerful they came on with a lot of energy almost like a dragon and i feel like it scared the humans so they just retaliated they were like okay well i don't want to be around that so i'm just gonna hate it and i think that's what humans love to do if they can't handle it they're just gonna hate it from afar right. so that's what they did with them and they felt like left out the society on earth you know it, like it's happened to the energy i feel like they were sad yeah, i'm gonna have to like talk more about that to them because i didn't know much about how affected they specifically the fire fairies were i know they were all affected but i didn't know the fire fairies were like mostly affected and then the seaweeds i mean the reason the seaweeds are dark is because they were affected the most right and they had to turn mm -hmm. they couldn't like they couldn't stay in the light anymore they kind of gave up on they're really cool man like when i started because yeah. yeah, i i'm really connected to the fire and winter fairies so whenever i'm around Whoa. fire they're usually there like when it's like when it's winter time especially like right now they're like there when i'm around ice they want me to be around ice and it's always your fairies and they're they're really really no when you told me the winter fairies were talking to you i was like no way i just went on a walk last night and i talked to them what do you eat like <laughs> i was like wow you guys are stalking my friends <laughs> y'all it was crazy no, so i opened i'm just gonna i'm gonna show you guys the fairy door over there and i opened it up and that's when they started connecting with me more and they were like we go skating and i was like hey black man going skating all right so i went out i went it was weird because i could keep seeing these like bright blue lights flying around the ice part of me first was like okay it's just of course you're like it's just your eyes but then after they kept like dancing around like staying in your vision so then there was one point where my hands got really cold and i got off the ice to get my glove and i heard a lady go come back and i look and there's nobody they on the ice so i was like what the hell it was clear as day they said come back and i look like and then it was nobody it was just like the blue sparkles i was like wow like this is getting super damn cool so it's like you may see them in some way but maybe not like see them almost as though they're physical you have to be yeah. like really connected with them yeah that's what i'm saying like it's not they can't just show themselves to you like it has to be like connection a soul connection where they feel like you know you're worthy of being shown to one thing i will say is that don't take offense if you don't see them physically because you know they're not really allowed to like they're scared of humans and even if they know we're not humans we're star seeds we're still in a human body so the way we have to play pretend in a human body suit is the same way they have to play pretend that they don't exist in the physical until humans wake up and realize that they actually do exist and physical is not the only dimension that exists the phase yeah they don't even show themselves to me like really physically only be like the lights or like a shadow or something like that or like yeah, a bright yeah. flash it what reminds me of the accident? fairy war oh eric so if you see them on accident say anything one thing i my guys told me one time because i saw one in an accident and i was like oh my god and i screamed my guys are like don't say that because then they get like high and they get mad you saw them so if you see a fairy just look away and be like and like fading your head or something like like imagine like you're like walking and like you're invisible weird or embarrassing and like some person sees you and you're like oh shoot they're not supposed to see me i'm invisible that's how the fairies feel they're like oh no they saw me you know the <laughs> glitch in the freaking matrix move on baby no but like actually though if you do see them on accident acknowledge it to yourself and don't say like don't point it out because they see that as like disrespect you pointing them out yeah no they that rarely happens like it usually happens like i would say like at night 12 a.m and after you might see some like you see fireflies or probably like fairies you might see you know show a little bit i feel like the firefly fairies are the ones i see a lot like they kind of show themselves a little bit in the 5d you can see them with your clairvoyance you know your third eye uh do you ever get so excited from working with their energy you just kind of get out yes i was yesterday i was like clapping my hands like this and i'm like why do i do that and i'm like is it a sim or something i don't get why i do that but then i realized it's probably just a fairy thing like you just get so excited your body doesn't what to do where to keep the energy you know so yeah no i get really excited like goofy childish and like just you know i can't i can't handle it yeah no it is uncontrollable see that's what i mean like they control 
control you so much so they can control your emotions which is why you know for your benefit if you're sad they can make you happy and it's like you don't have to do drugs like it's not like it's not fake happiness it's like bring out a memory from you and from your past that like you tap into that makes you happy you know it's like your own and they tap into that and they stay in your reality and they help you as long as you need it they don't they don't just make you happy and leave like they stay there you know they protect you yeah that's another thing they can do they can protect you and also the brownies i feel like the protection mostly the on seaweeds i would say they're the best at protecting but i prefer the seaweeds for protection because i just i just connect with them more so regardless you call in a face or, you know remember all phase they're different sizes too and they're not all small so like some of them are even bigger than us in the astral and they can protect you really well like phase a really big group a really big class a bunch of you know creatures and like fairies is just one so like this is just me talking about a little part of the fairies what they are but the fey group a big group and i know rabbi is going to talk a little bit about like more fey being do you guys want to talk about any of your differences now and like the phase and honestly anything you want to talk about on meet your mic and speak by the way i just want to say the fays are not appreciated enough okay. <laughs> for real like i, I have that. a pixie portal in my room and i don't really notice much like how much they're helping but i should definitely give them more credit because i have a plant in my room that i rarely water because i forget and the plant started to grow new stems like <gasps> it's thriving and how do you think it's happening <laughs> i'm telling you like i had this plant that this plant wanted to go it was so close to that it was like, <laughs> let me go please let me go babe let me go and i was like no what? you're living i called on the face i was like please guys let this plant this plant live yeah. and i was like nah this it should have been dead like long ago and i felt so bad because like you know you kill a plant you're like no i killed nature but it's okay guys like if a plant dies it, it was meant to die you know like i don't know yeah to try again. Keep trying. it's a life cycle yeah. Yeah, but for, <laughs> for real they're helping i am seeing it i'm appreciating and today i was working on my slideshow about all the dark beans and stuff and i put a part about the underworld beans like vampires werewolves and like dark mm -hmm. phase and stuff and i'm a vampire like i don't mean like they're all evil of course <laughs> and uh, when i after you know i write about the face i got up and i saw there is like a shiny bead on the floor next to me like bro i was like this is not from anything i own this bead like face left me as a gift probably yeah <laughs> I was definitely like, <laughs> yeah right definitely left me i'm gonna send a photo right now yes i was like to them. do i did i really deserve that i was like, yes well like they remember, i like, said they it. so like if they say oh, something it's so cute i have it right They're now so it's like, so cute <laughs> and like i think you know not even i think i know that they definitely sent you that because they're appreciating them and like you being respectful enough to like understand that they're not all bad and like wait know, what is that them in general. it looks like a carnelian which said it's a bead yeah, it's, um, it's like a glass bead really that's really so cool they definitely gifted that to you that's so cool it almost looked like a grape i was like oh i need me no it's not a grape it's a glass I bead <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not easy but um no i feel like they love to give because i saw this thing that looked like a citron crystal and they always give shiny things i noticed they love shiny things also guys if you want to give like an offering get like a little a little mirror and like put that in like your altar your fairy altar they love mirrors they love looking at their reflection yeah of course you can um you can turn up your mind take the floor this i'll talk about what my mom used to tell me when i was little so back so when i was at my dad oh in the attic there's like a goblet there's like a hole there. Goblin would spy at me and think it might have been a brown. Yeah, it definitely was a brown. Like, uh, another, another one was like when my cousin, like she said she saw like a mermaid and I thought, oh yeah, she probably, uh, she's on something, but it was actually true. She had like astral stuff. The one oh. I want to say the most, snorkeling, right? I was swimming like, because I was connecting with Mintaka a lot. I was like swimming in like a really shallow part. I was snorkeling, just closing my eyes and I saw like a bunch of bays there. I looked a bit like, oh. like insect oh, like, like, and they were like, bro, I was like snorkeling shit. I was like, since I was human to when I use a snorkel, they thought I was terminate or some shit. Oh my gosh, no, that definitely and was. They felt like I wanted of... to hunt them, and I was just water face guys. That's all I have that to say. As a water face, and I also saw like a, a lionfish. Oh my, no, I love that. Thank you for telling us because I love to hear stories and like experiences with the face. I went through this whole journey when I was first researching about the face, and <laughs> I was watching every YouTube video, every TikTok video about people's experiences. Like someone saying, oh, "I saw a fairy in a garden." I'm like rewatch. Like I want to hear everything. You know, so like I just love hearing our experiences with the phase. It just it kind of like validates mine as a you know, my inner child, you know, seeing them and connecting with them, not feeling crazy that fairies exist, and just being happy that 
that, you know, I, I connect with them and we all do in our own way. Yes, I would love to hear your experiences, be it. Of course, Jesse, I'm so happy you came. Thank you for coming. Montana or Mentaka. Oh gosh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna learn more about Mentaka actually. Like a lot more, like I'm learning about the planets and there's a lot going on for you three. Okay, does anyone else wanna, you know, share an experience, a theories or anything else or ask any questions? I actually have a question. So there's some signs that you could know that there's a around you or that you're working with them what are some like confirmations so for people that may feel like they're crazy or even sometimes me i'm like like i know they're there but then they always introduce a new way that they help me and that's like i figure it out as i go but i'm really curious what is um some really powerful signs that you can know that they're around or for me it's the physical the clairsentient feeling so what you feel that feeling is the biggest sign like you feel shivers you might feel shivers you might feel cold or you might feel like your belly is like you're a little nauseous or like have an upset stomach or like you're really like giggly or like happy you know weird mood changes definitely has to do with the fairies being around you or if you start to see fairies in your shows or people like randomly talking about fairies or you see pictures of wings another thing is imagery they're saying they love to you know show and like have imagery as like a big sign to show you that they're in your reality so like if you see butterflies everywhere randomly or like you've just been seeing like a lot of insects even spiders yeah the fairies have some to do with that so anything that comes in your reality whether a physical sensation or a physical item or something that you see that connects to the fade that's definitely a sign so they're saying to tell you that take everything yeah heavy on the spider <laughs> lane is busy spider but yeah um take what they say as like take what they say to me and i'm telling you as proof that they're sending you signs you know right now if you're thinking i just thought i saw a fade that was definitely a fade like don't doubt yourself they're saying don't doubt yourself and just you know believe what they have to tell you believe what they have to show you because those little signs that you see that's the first step in connecting with them you know and later on it's gonna get even bigger where you're full-on like looking at a tree and like meditating with it and the fairies are around you and you fully believe that they're there you know and then eventually we're gonna start to see them more when it's like more accepted in our world and in this reality you know spiders keep invading your dream okay that definitely has to do with that's a sign there's either something coming in really quick could be both actually because they love to send you signs when people are coming in like the fairies they love to do that they're like giving you little hints of like oh you're making a new friend soon they're gonna send you a sign about it. and then you make the friend and you're like wait before i met you this actually happened and like i didn't even know you back you know like little signs like that in your life definitely because remember they they can see through time like they're not controlled by time so they know your past they know your future they know where you're gonna end up and they're just hearing this experience with you helping you and guiding you that's exactly 2027 like all the beans are gonna basically just come out of the blue and be like what's up Let's i actually it. love when they send insect as a sign like spider or it's like a moth or something like that i really love the symbolism moth. they give i really like the insect yeah. ones because i'm like i know that the even if it's the gfl sending me a message it's like the face especially how they basically work with the gfl so or the positive ones i should say oh, so it's yeah. like yeah they do when they want to send do. a message they'll send like an insect to like give you that message which is super cool that's interesting you said that because they did tell me that when i was early on in my like being clear audience i still used to doubt it so i heard them saying like yeah we work with the galactic federation and so do your guys and i was like okay great and like i didn't really i was so doubtful at everything back then and i didn't really believe it and you just said that and i'm like that's like i haven't you know been on that topic with them for like a while like i never asked them again about that and it's like yeah so if you guys are interested in the series they're very like professional in terms of like they work with the gfl so if that you know gives you enough from them they're not good um but yeah moths are definitely a big sign the phase left in and, and also moths are about rebirth you know with the phase having to like go through all that like war with the humans they basically had a rebirth and essentially moths are a big sign and like you know they love to send that spiders ain't crawling on my feet oh and you know like the astral spiders when they crawl on your feet like in when you're like about to sleep Hayley, yeah no guys you saying it makes me feel it ew oh don't say that bruh give me flashbacks right? <laughs> you're home oh my god the sun is oh. blowing on you yes <gasps> Thank you. Hello, fairy sister. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this moment with you. Like, <laughs> when I, I like rejoined the Discord, I like read your name, and I just felt this energy, oh and I knew god. that we would like. Oh, you're so <laughs> yes. Your Thank you. I'm like shaking right now. I was like so excited to get home and just like speak with you. I'm like, let's get oh. this because yes, I'm about the fairies, hear... girl. Yeah, <laughs> and I want to hear everything I have to say. I was sitting here and saying, wait, okay, yes. you guys, a question real quick. Can I connect or call them in general? 
Oh, do they have names like the archangel? You can call no. Okay, one thing about the fairies, they're not they're not gonna all give you their names. Like so far, I only have a few names of the fays that work with me, but they're not all gonna give you their names. One of them literally said, "Just call me Faye." They were like, "You're gonna know my energy because you know who I am." So when you say Faye, I'm gonna come. And I was like, "Faye, like you're not even gonna give me a name. You're probably not gonna get a name from them, Luca." So you can always just say Seely Court or in Seely Court. That's what I say. So like, describe which type of Faye you want to you know connect to. If you just say Faye, like every every Faye could come to your room, dark or light. You know, um, I hope that answered your question. But if a Faye does give you their name, Luca, you can definitely use their name to call on them. And also don't you know don't force out. Yeah, you can write it. You can write it too. You can call on them, write in, saying it, visualize. How do you call on them? Well, personally, I just say it out loud. I just say it out loud. I light a candle and I set my intention. And I say I call in the city court phase in my room, and then they come in. You know, you just say it out loud. It's very simple. You don't have to do it. That's your intention. So I want to hear your experiences. Oh my gosh. So like that's so true what you just said. Like honestly, with some of the fairies that I work with, like I have no idea. Like I'm just right. clairsentient to them. So like I'm just like okay, I can feel that you're here with like good intention or like you know it's very interesting because they really aren't. I know. They don't try to distinguish themselves. Yeah, often. they're like we're all one heart. Why do we? Yeah. Names and all this and that. Sometimes it drives you crazy because you're like I I want to like distinguish you because like on I this know. on Earth they like put you in boxes, right? So you try to like do boxes with them and it's like no like, that's not how it works no. you, you can't do that and they're so funny right. too. they'll be like they'll be like you want my name <laughs> hey, right I'm, blueberry. I'm like you're not blueberry stop it like i sit in my room looking like a crazy person talking to the fairies and i'm like guys i have to work okay and they're like and i'm like bro yeah. i can't right now like oh. you guys are so cute they're so cute i love them oh, oh my god yes so tinkerbell fun. i love tinkerbell um i literally <laughs> so when i work with them we love to create so like that broom that I put in like I make a lot of like ointments and I'm just like so guided to create with me so heavy and it would just be so random too like I, I don't even know that sometimes I'm communicating with them I'm just like working with flow because like I I'm very much like a water being I'm like okay I I'm being intuitively guided to do this and then later I'm like this is some fairy shit you know what I'm saying you look at it uh, and you're like <laughs> you're, you're, like bro I don't even know what happened I was like why am I building a house with the fairies like I have like a little house like a little wooden house and I'm like yes. cutting it and I'm like why did I start doing this I have to shower and I'm like what is going on they're like my guys are just like oh they're controlling you and I'm like I know but like how is it like I don't realize it in the moment until I've already like finished the task they want me to do like that's how good they are so like I said you guys need help doing anything they will control you to do that you need to do your work or study mm -hmm. or like go into like a certain like aspect in your life or shadow work or shadow work they can also help you with but yeah no I I know what you mean not knowing when Ooh, I'm sending you. a video this is from Halloween I had no idea what I was going to do Whoa. with my pumpkin and I just randomly did this and it, it's this like a fairy so bake shop I, I got know. this little fairy inside yes Yo, this is so cute um, I wish I did this with my pumpkin I didn't I didn't even think of this now I'm like next Halloween <laughs> we're doing this we're making a fairy house and we're going to put like lights in it and yes. it's going to be beautiful that is so beautiful do you do it yourself yes oh my god I was just you guided like they were like fairy cake I was like, okay, we're doing very good. But I <laughs> no, love... So cute. I feel like so connected through elements with them like so even like my daily routine of like a cleansing shower like I feel them and it, it's just like water or like anything Ooh. I'm connecting to it's like just oh, very God. powerful oh, like God. like crystals herbs like just anything it's just you feel the power behind it with right incredible. and you said that you connect with the elements and they wanted me to say really quick to like everyone in the class too that um we forget that everything we have have on earth probably an element with it so if you're like cooking you're taking a shower like you said the water phase can help you with that you're cooking the fire phase the water phase and the earth phase can help you with that and the brownies too so you know earth phase or you're like dancing the air phase can help you with balance or like you're walking you're like a little dizzy or even when i'm really cold like i notice that the air phase like they almost like they keep me like warm enough and the fire phase like ignite my like flame in me and help me to just stay like warm i don't know what they do and how they do it but i know they 
help mm-hmm. you know it's like I don't know the, <laughs> the technicalities of it but I know that they can definitely support you and guide you in like when you do their like daily tasks like even just showering or brushing your teeth like or speaking to like you know being able to ground to your root chakra and like your heart chakra and like to speak and also your throat chakra too because I know some of us have a blocked throat chakra and they can help with that too so you're having like a presentation mm-hmm. class or you need to speak to someone and you're like I can't talk the phase will help you get it out and you're like whoa did I just do that and it feels like you're also like in a daze or like you're in a hallucination or something it feels like you're in hell like you know when that happens like you, you kind of get out of it and you're like it just feels you know very interesting mm-hmm. what strongest elements are you guys gonna oh my strongest element is definitely yeah definitely earth and fire earth and fire I love water though I love water so much and I love air but I just pick earth one I feel like all of them are just yeah I can't you know, yeah. I can't pick <laughs> it's hard <laughs> it's hard I'm like I say earth and fire and say water and I'm like wait fire and air I love that fire water air oh I love that's an interesting I don't hear that a lot I usually hear like water and fire but water air that's you could do a lot with that mm-hmm. like sometimes you could like get a scrying bowl like I'm talking about like Andy if you're like connecting to water and air if you want to do some magic get like a bowl and like put some water in it put some incense smoke and like literally just look at the bowl and you scry through that with your third eye like an image or a picture in the bowl whatever intention you're trying to set you know you're trying to see the future you're trying to see what someone's doing do your little <laughs> not wrong guys rock mages are a real thing nobody makes fun of <laughs> I know I looked at that and I was dead, bro. <laughs> Yo, that emoji, I can't. Fuck me, just slay, okay? <laughs> Bro, yeah. I for real yeah. have like a magical stone in astral and it's like a rock. It's not even a crystal. <laughs> oh my god, they work so big with pets. Oh my gosh. Look at the cat. Look at the where's my cat? Pixie. Love Yo, did your cat did your <laughs> cat get crazy when the fairies are around? Every time I'm on a call, because the fairies like they all come around when I'm on a call. My cat is like, like, what are you looking yeah. at? And he's like, and I'm like, what are you looking at? And he's like, they're fairies. I don't know what to tell you. Like, they're just all around. And sometimes he does get scared because, like, I see him like jump, and I'm like, oh my god, what scares you? It scared me because of the way he right. jumped. And I'm realizing, oh, he probably saw a fairy that like was trying to mess with him. Nah, because I feel bad for him. He's always like, why does she have so many of these people in her room? And like, there are just always so many. And he's probably like annoyed. But I'm like, Pixie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the after being left to visit us came and suit you. No, for real, it does, Robbie. My black cat is more sensitive to the fairies I find she oh, bounces yes. off the walls and like she always wants to play like I-, I swear to god there's not even one part of the day where she doesn't want to play and how I oh, know like indeed. she was gifted to me by the fairies like seriously it- now she's that wild. you say that I'm thinking do you think that's why my cat is always so playful I thought maybe I don't play with him enough and I'm like but I do it every day though so what am I doing wrong mm-hmm. like why do you still feel the need to jump around every time so I'm realizing it could just be the fairy energy that's like mm-hmm. you said that I'm like okay that makes a lot of sense like it's just the fairies making him yeah feel she like, like makes me feel like i neglect her i'm like yeah oh, i just played with right? you i'm like am i not playing with you like i'm like i'm doing the minimum amount like what's going on <laughs> like what am i right. doing like, and i always feel bad too because i'm like well, when when i'm not around my roommate said this actually she was like when you're not around he doesn't act crazy but when you are he acts like so happy and crazy mm-hmm. and i'm like he needs to relax so like relax around me be a chill crazy but I, i'm not mad at it because i feel like when he's older he's gonna like relax a little how's your cat um um, so she is almost three and my other Ooh. one that you know, the gray one she's about 13 she's been with me like, oh wow she's yeah, like young. She's, i know right she's been she like such young. a guide for me through this lifetime like you know i suffered a lot with like not having control of my gifts my energy was like absolutely everywhere I, you know very emotional because i didn't know about my emotions and she helped me like ground so she's really good at that and now like that i have control over it like, i don't want to say control because you don't have control of it if we're honest but like you know since I have some type of awareness of it she doesn't have to really do that that much for me anymore so she just kind of lays around and sleeps just but chilling. I can tell mm-hmm. she gets so upset because she's like I do want to like do this she feels very yeah, yeah. that's because she's like you're she's your familiar so she feels like she has to protect mm-hmm. you she's, she's like so I incarnated cute. to be with you so it's my job to protect mm-hmm. you but yeah no I'm really I'm really happy that we're all connecting here and that with every element in air yeah fire Oh, Cassie, you said ice and 
and like I've never heard anyone connect the eyes before and that's so interesting oh really it really yeah. um I've never heard of it either that much so when I did hear about it and like started diving into it its personality is really interesting it's literally like the opposite like it's more reserved and more like like it has this power that's like so fire is like passion and like you put things out and then like ice going in and being less emotional it's like it could yeah. get you through certain things and times without having emotion like fire is all about emotion yeah. so it's really cool like the whole i thought the opposite of fire would be water but it's actually ice i thought that oh i'm so happy that when i'm gonna call with me be witch what's your name by the way <laughs> it's gabrielle <laughs> yeah okay. so, like, I know like Mary's a name and i feel bad at all oh, the green eyes i know they're so big <laughs> look at her she looks like she's even looking at something past me she's like um Hi. hello can you see us? Can you see us? Oh, don't move. I just forgot I was on camera. Oh, my God. So like, oh, my God. Crazy. It's so funny. Yeah, I'm, like, no, so grateful dude. to have finally met you. But, like, I, I definitely know. see us creating and talking more. So, like, oh, yeah. I'm excited for that day. <laughs> Anytime. Wait, yes. so the opposite? Yeah, I guess that would be the opposite. That's interesting. Ice, fire, water, earth, or other elements. Even us humans are, like, not aware of that's not on our planet, right? It's so interesting. Oh, my gosh. I want to go through whole past life memory like retrieval to like get more about like my past life like the water phase the fire phase and just connect with that more if anyone oh, else wants to me ask what's the opposite of water i have to find that here. there's like a good oh i found it what are the odds oh so, you have it you have like a diagram for that yeah this is crazy i'm about to show y'all so it looks so Whoa. opposite of fire would be ice and then opposite of water would be and then wood okay, yeah wood would be decay earth is air which that would make sense because earth is very dense like there's no air there's like no density or like something you could hold on to with air and then like wood it like grows and it's going up and then decay is literally the opposite so when you think about it you're like okay that makes sense because i thought fire would be here like opposite of water but it makes total sense when you look at the energy of it oh i love that can you tell me that <laughs> yeah man yeah man yeah man because i'm like i need that on my phone I have a whole album for <laughs> little <laughs> diagrams like you guys already need like witchy symbols i was i was, I was telling my friends i was like you guys have like a pentacle everywhere you on your test papers like put that pentacle everywhere protect yourself because symbols are powerful and so, like i love that 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 but that was a picture right i so love this one you i have so much diagrams for y'all so we're gonna have some oh. of those diagrams on monday yeah go crazy oh i can't wait yo there's so many classes going up right now i'm like i can't wait for robbie's class in your class i'm like can we Ooh, go robbie's okay. class is gonna be so right? i'm like can we go like, oh. like <laughs> You guys hide from me. <laughs> okay, this is fire. Right. When I saw Spark, I was like, whoa, love that so much. And Decay. You okay. know what? We should watch Spider Wit Chronicles together <gasps> and then we could like go over it one day. Can we do that as like a little discussion thingy? Like on the furry planet? That would be fire, yeah. Because yeah, I would love to do that. Because that movie, oh, I could rewatch it again and again. Like I kept um going back. Do you remember the scene where the lady who they said was crazy in the like clinic and the um flower fairies were like around her and they didn't yeah. Yeah. I kept going back to see them like in detail and I'm like yo they did a good job like in the representation of what the fairies look like I was just like that's so cute like, I, I love them and I think the warrior in me loved the goblins every time I saw them I was like oh I wish I was in this movie I wanted to be there with my homeboy to help them but yeah I loved I loved the goblins I mean I loved every time in there I think one of my favorite was the big I forget how it ended but the big like boss they were fighting at the end that guy is really cool and now I'm watching um the one I, I oh the big guy these. who was like merged into like oh uh, he was like a shapeshifter by the way phaser are shapeshifters guys so they can appear as anything in the room because <laughs> yeah. he was like moving I think he appeared as an old man first right that was like or something and then yeah I forget how it was but it, yeah he was like an old man and then he he shapeshifted into like a demon so it's basically saying yeah. that he was like you want to say a reptilian or something like that like he was literally there to start trouble oh my god and then Cash remember that guy who was like oh I didn't know that that it's been 30 years i just came here yesterday and he was like the fairies have kept me here for so long and i was like I, when i saw that i was like i i got like goosebumps because i was like that's about the time like the you know the fact that fairies can like control time they're not controlled by it yeah so i was like that's so trippy like he was in that little realm or big realm rather with the like fairies the flower fairies and like um the dandelion they were just all around him and these were the they were the air keeping him protected from the malevolent fairies the on series or the malevolent phase and then they protect 
connected him for like 30 years and he's like oh i thought i just came here yesterday and i'm like that's crazy like, <laughs> like i don't know, I guys, came here yesterday like, yeah he's like you know, what do you mean it's been 30 years i have a kid my kids is he okay i was like what is going on and when i watched that as a kid i didn't understand anything i was just like that what scared me i was like what right the hell? i was like what do you mean yesterday oh my god i and then in my head, <laughs> when i was a kid i was like i never want to experience that ever i'm stuck in time and then now that i'm older i realized that no it's actually fun because you get to do everything you want to do and not be controlled by time i think mm -hmm. oh, being a kid was so fun but you guys can explore that again with the fairies you know embrace your energy building. this makes me want to rewatch all the fairy movies like when i was when i was getting all the briefings on fairies they made me watch tinkerbell when they're telling me to watch tinkerbell i was like God, stop playing with me bro we're gonna watch tinkerbell <laughs> tinkerbell are you kidding me fire bro tinkerbells all of them i really am obsessed with maleficent still and i like that because Yo, it's like the war between the fairies you. and humans oh i love it thank you for telling me to rewatch it oh my I, you, you saw the notes I, I wrote. I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. Like, they're talking about factual information about the fairies. Honestly, I love the CGI and, um, like, it's just the fairy it's realm. too good. Beautiful. Do you guys know this movie? This one I'm obsessed with, too. I'm actually about to call The oh, Elemental. Is that Elemental. Have you watched it? Oh, you've watched it yet? When oh, you yes. It's deep. This is a movie that it's really deep. It, it goes in an area. You don't expect it to go that way. You're watching it. And you're like, oh, fuck. Like, I saw the fire people, and I was like, yep, yeah, I'm watching this. And and it's just I'm so, about that. it's like um, a society full of different elemental beings and fire people. This is where it also taps into the um, the war between the Fae when the Fae had like their own civil wars and it was like against fire fairies. It touches on that a little bit too, like how they're kind of against fire people and then they see what they could do um, and all that stuff. It's really cool and it talks about it fits in like immigration because then the fire people are starting to immigrate from like Fireland to like the big city. Oh, it just every moment I was like, this is so damn cool. I'm I'm gonna definitely watch it. Honestly, maybe I will too because I'm free. So, and know. the water guy, I like a little too much. That's my boy. <laughs> you ever and the fire girl, that's my girl. Oh my god. Oh, wait, is it a kid? What is it? Like a kid? I thought it was a kid because it came out in the theaters, right? And it was like, yeah, yeah. and then um, I think Inside Out, that's another. I know it's not really about fairies, but Inside Out is about spirituality. And I love that movie. I think there was a second one coming out that it already. Oh, I like Inside Out too. I think they, yeah, they did it come, did come out, their... right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then I, I need to. Oh, they added a new um a new guy okay i need to watch okay so now i have two movies that i need to watch me too <laughs> okay you guys please homework for today spiderwick chronicles spiderwick chronicles that's about the fairies and then next class actually wait are we still watching it well i guess it depends on like who comes to the class but we can you guys can watch it if you don't do a meeting where we like stream it and share a screen and watch a movie this is night. crazy inside out who has new emotions they have what one the, that's anxiety yeah. then they have what the the hell wait let me... i can't anxiety this is what the anxiety guy looks like <laughs> why are they calling me out bro like, this is... why are you calling me out no they're calling like half of the world out right now anxiety like you know we're anxious you know we're anxious because we're on earth right now like and then what's the this i think this is like cuteness or something yeah i, I don't that's know what that. these are gonna... that's yeah a pink girl oh is that an angel oh i actually want to i want to know. know what emotion the angel but i remember i got sad the first movie i don't know if you guys remember inside out but the first first movie so sad like i don't know look at this so anxiety is the orange guy anui is the bear of boredom i don't know which one that one is then they have embarrassment which is the teal and terrified one then they have the pink and sparkly one is envy oh yeah those are the those are the new ones they so that is envy oh envy that's a big theme going through your spiritual journey i feel like i noticed envy is a big theme other people around you feel for you energy is like changing you know I feel like it's yeah really 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 informational you give me homework i'm giving myself homework too i'm watching I'm watching these two movies like my guys are like they've been showing me the elemental beings like the movie every time i would go on my laptop and i was like mm. and you just set that and i'm like okay i will watch i it. love spiritual homework this is the best yeah me too better than school homework like. <laughs> you can say that again <laughs> like what is that i remember the time i learned like i figured out who created really <laughs> basically the reason was he was mad at his kids like his students for like not paying attention he's like you know what i'm done you guys are gonna do this at home and i was like what like i i was like you know hey this man i'm mad at you <laughs> you have homework and so i'm like so you're telling me that every human is being punished and so some guy 
decided to give his students homework. So like that's a punishment basically. Why is it still a thing? Why do we still sit in classes with desks? That's my question. Why can we like have a class that's like in nature? You know, like we need yeah. new schools, yes. new teachers. Ooh, don't worry. Actually, I was just talking with that with Gab. Uh, we were mm. talking about the new schooling system coming in and stuff like that. For sure, we need some of that in there. I'm excited for that because I've been like imagining what it would be like, and I just, I just, I'm just hoping you know, see everything. And I have to do homework that I must be able to sleep and play Fortnite at school, right? Like, like let me do my thing. Let me play Sims 24 Ooh. hours a day, and not be myself, and not have to worry about. So honestly, I also noticed that school is where you meet the most people. So it's really fun going to school when you're like spiritually awake, you know, spiritually aware, because you're like, whoa, this is not just school. This is like it's where I get to scan everyone's energy. But it does get overwhelming. You're in class and you can see a teacher's aura, and you're like, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, a little much. that's why I miss. That's the only reason why I miss is the environment. But then I had to transition my mind to know that, like, once you graduate, that it's like life becomes your school. So like everywhere you go, you become yeah. an and it's like because when you're in high school, it's like you're limited to the school. So it's like a little version of the world, and then you get to experiment. And then when you graduate, then it's like, all right, now you got everything you need—the social skills, the, the whatever you learn in school. Now it's time to go out in the real high. And so I. When the, my guys were telling me like that, I was like, okay, let me, that means it doesn't make me miss high school as much. But I still yeah. like how everybody was in like one space together. Life is like, actually, it definitely is. We're like here to learn. Yeah, just experience Earth. Because I mean, Earth is still kind of new, right? So they're still like in the first steps of it and like still learning. Like there is a future out there where more that's already happened, right? We're just experiencing this moment. It's already happened. Earth's already in the 5D and another, you know, future of timeline. We're just experiencing this timeline of us being the change you know and the phase are there I, to help us Earth do that is, in general it's so magical like think guys like we're here together right now in different areas that we're here as different beings incarnated here we're prepping the world for a new era like look how magical we are we have these abilities that the world's gonna see us for oh my god it's like so, life is just so magical it's so beautiful i love it like it's like every time i get in like a low vibe mode i'm like no life is like life is amazing like we're here like this is not this is like we're experiencing this avatar this is not even our body like we're just in here yeah. you know we're just in here like a body suit like oh i'm pretending to be human but it's like no you're actually a big ball of energy that's emanating like love and life every day you know and you just like put a little bit of your consciousness in the body and you're like oh i'm here I'm, no you're everywhere literally everywhere right. in the whole universe and it makes you love everybody because you're like they're just literally me. another version of me that right? was separated from source at the same time doing a different journey so we're yeah. different thing and that just makes me love everybody everybody right amount like automatically yeah that's why if anything like happens i'm always like i'm always oh, yeah. like you want to answer that question real quick that bro said the I one what, Stafford, you say. what happened yeah. in 2012 was it for 4d transition yeah so basically they decided to leave you're talking about the phase right you're talking about the phase right oh you can talk about in general yeah but in terms of the phase they you know like around that time i think it was even earlier like the phase decided to like leave from the 3d physical realm to like the 5d and then if you're talking about the 2012 for like us like humans we shifted into a new reality. You know how they were like, oh, Mandela is that like we, like humans are not real and there's some people who have memories from a past saying that, oh, do you remember the Bernstein mirrors with the Bernstein mirrors? People were saying, oh, so <laughs> you sign mirrors and they're like, no, it's not, you're crazy. See, no one's crazy. Everyone was just in a different reality and we all shifted into one. So that's what's going to happen with 5D Earth. We're all going to shift into 5D Earth and we're going to be like, oh, I remember this. And someone's going to be like, no, but I remember this. It's like, yeah, because you were in different realities and now you're all in the one you're meant to be in together. And we're always going to keep shifting no matter what. Possibility of a future timeline, right? But yeah, 2012, when I, I did all, I was like that person who was like researching the conspiracy theories about it. And I'm like, I want to know everything, like what happened and like, how do we shift? Like, how come there are people here with memories that don't exist in this reality? And like, now I understand, like we shifted, the phase shifted, every one shifted, basically. It had to, we had to shift. The world would have probably ended. But I don't know, Cassius, what do you, do you have anything to add to that? I would love to hear. No, it's spot on. Yeah, it's like time when totally, like we were stepping more into a, it was decided for fourth dimensional consciousness start to come in and um some people say 2012 was like a different year but no matter what it was letting us know the end of a certain period of time on the planet and then moving into another yeah. definitely i see it like that but what's interesting was that um um <laughs> when i was little i thought it was literally the end of the world i was like oh no i'm, I'm gonna die at grade five like no like i want to go a little more i was so sad 
<laughs> and then it finished. Like it was, it was 2013. I'm like, we good? Like we're, we're all right. I Yo, guess. no, I had the same feeling. I thought we were gonna die, but it was. I didn't care. Honestly, I didn't care as much. I was just like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> we're gonna die. Love that. Because I was so like, I just, I was so done with school. I did not like it. But in that moment, when I was like, when I remembered that that conspiracy theory existed, I was like, oh, I forgot about that. 2012, mass 2014. We're not dead yet. Like, what's going on? And then I realized that, oh, okay, maybe it's fake. I just, I just in my head, I was like, oh, it's probably fake. And then, you know, now I'm realizing, like, okay, no. Shifting realities, like, just classic interdimensional stuff. It's just you grow up and you realize more, like, and you're like, oh, okay, that's what the whole point of waking up is. You know the truth, all the lies that the world has made you believe. I said, I was too, I wasn't conscious. Yeah, I feel like there's a theory that says it's a test to see how easy history can be. History can be changed in a matter of one word. Like, someone says something in a few decades and they be just like how they're like, oh, God used to exist. And it's like, they still exist. It's just people stop, you know, worshiping the Greek gods, let's say, for example, and like, you know, stop giving them a lot of power. And then it just well known. And then it's now like in this age we're in that everyone is like, okay, deity work. Let's work with the deities. Like, work with the fairies. Like, because we're waking up, right? So it's a collective, like, collective thing. It's not like we all died. I think, yeah, we, well, death isn't real. I love that. <laughs> I love that death is not real. So we didn't actually die. We just, our souls are just in a different experience. And do you guys ever think about it if our souls in a different experience who is in our other body well not our body but like in that body in the other experience i always thought about that and i was like anyone could really be living in your body in a different reality and like they could go by a different name it could just be the same body like i've watched too much like the oa y'all the oa <laughs> like, you know what i'm talking about right the oa about shifting reality on yeah Netflix, they they catch my mind like i'm going through my reality shift the reality thing. right the oa guys well, i want to eat so homework. much we have homework <laughs> <laughs> rabbi like, every, like everyone watch the OA. girl i gave like two three years to reality shifting on my life <laughs> i wanted yeah, that so you told much. me about that i was so happy when you said that because mm -hmm. i never met anyone who was like an actual shifter because like i met a lot of people who love to like yeah yeah i was obsessed with the multiverse and by the way i did reality shifting like 10 times and they're they were very fun it's not something for everyone <laughs> because it can oh. it can it can uh, like i don't know how to say that <laughs> but once you see like the multiverse and the options and you are out there being everything basically everyone is everything out there oh yeah so, <laughs> you can awesome. like yeah, like my friend basically she got all crazy about it she just wanted to live here and just go in a, another one permanently which made like this life miserable for her so it can be like very hard on the psychology of a human like, yeah yeah it can be hard on the psyche you're right because that's why they say like oh all these people are schizophrenic like all these disorders i don't believe that they're not crazy you're just tapping into like like you know your your energy and your mind cannot handle all that energy so it like basically breaks and i feel like yeah no reality mm -hmm. shifting because i remember when i was in shrooms like um i was looking at like i felt like you said of how you like you felt like you were seeing the multiverse and like seeing like everything is one you're everything like i thought that on shrooms like when i took like a really high dose and hey no i want to forget like i was like no take me back i don't i just want to be in this again because like i felt like i knew too much you know what i mean like i was like oh this is this is a lot like i don't think i'm ready to accept that this is all me me you know in that perspective like oh it felt just I know like I just I love it so if you guys are into reality shifting definitely look into it and see what works for you because you can shift reality so that's one thing I love about it right 3.3 grams and I'm like how am I how am I feeling everything right now like but I love it damn 3.3 whoa I would be I'd be gone if I took that much oh. wait what's the highest you've taken I actually haven't kept track but I think the highest I've taken is a gram or a gram and a half. I'm a very lightweight, even with cannabis. You're like, sensitive, I'm very right? Okay. Because I was like, Cash, if you do three, then because I was like, yeah, I took way too high <laughs> one over. time. Like, I, I took way too high. I was like, why am I seeing it? Like, everything is real. Basically, I was seeing beans in my room. Then, like, I was seeing my guys, and I was like, this is too much. Like, you guys are all real. Like, I'm not crazy. And they're like, no, you're just tripping right now. You know, tomorrow you're going to wake up. You're not going to see the same way, but you're going to remember we're real. And I'm like, wow, like, life 
life is just amazing. This room just bro, gets this is feeling. crazy. Chris said he took three fifty oh, and or or three point five, and he was seeing everyone's soul crazy. And then Layton oh. said, "This happened to me off three point three. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about." He said, "My max was four Oh, I remember how much it was. That bro, really bro, like... that bro, you're toxic. He said, "Take 10. <laughs> no, are you trying to see God? You want to see God? You want to have a conversation? <laughs> Call him. You know, you don't have to do all that. Call on him." He says, "See God." <laughs> 10, 10 grams. Oh, mercy. I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, but like, imagine actually, you take no. 10 and you're like this. Everybody God? Drunk, right? Like, I'm <laughs> you. You're God. And you're like, you're God? No, I'm you. You're God. And he goes, hey, like in a cycle. I <laughs> my mind. I love making myself laugh. I'm like, <laughs> Like, that is just so funny. Like, Shroom ca can really keep you in a cycle for real in your thoughts. You're like, I'm going crazy. I can't stop saying this word. I just can't stop. And you're like, I don't know why. But hey, guys, remember to set your intention for your trip. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Just so you know what. Y'all ever had a Shroom class? That would be wild. Oh, I'm a herbal. I wonder if there are more. I know um Gabrielle is, like, connected to plants. Because it's mushroom, right? So it's about, like, herbalism. And, like, I don't know. That seems interesting. Talking about, like, mushrooms just one day. We could have, like, a... We could have a voice chat, um, chat room chat one day. That's like impulsive and like just I just send in, you know, not like an actual class. But I don't know, Cashews. What would you think about like is it? Sounds good to me. Yeah, we could yeah. do. Um, we could plan it, and we could be like, all right, if you guys want, you could take a mushroom, but we probably won't take one. We'll just talk about experience, and then we could yeah. some people could come on the panel and like share their experience on mushrooms, or if they're on mushrooms at that moment, they could share what's going on with them. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's that's very open ended one. I like that. Well, thank. Thank you for um, you know, asking for it. Had to learn the hard way. Wait, what are Yo, you talking about? I'm saying Vesna. Every time me and her FaceTime, I always see the purple sparkles, and I, I already know it's the fan. And I just see it. And I was gonna tell her, but I was like, we're in the middle of conversation. But they're always flowing. I always around her body oh. and like around her head. Um, it's my. I didn't even. Sorry, guy. I, I didn't realize someone asked me a question. Vesna, I was like, yeah. Hey, Vesna um, said that she sees a lot yeah, of purple sparkles on your. I realize seat. it's my projector. Actually, I can send you. The oh. <laughs> But um, yeah, yeah. No, the series love it. Anytime I turn it off, they're like, "No, turn it back on. Put the the purple one." Because pur I have different colors, and they're like, "Put the purple one." And I'm like, "Okay." Like, but it's way better at night. Like when it's like light out, you can't really see it. But it's like it fills up the whole room, and it's like I feel like I'm in a galaxy, really in Andromeda for real. You know, like connected and LED light, salt lamp. Just get some type of like light in your room, and the fairies are gonna love that. Or fairy lights. You could just get fairy lights on. They'll love that too. You guys want to see my fairy door? This is what it looks like. I know. I love, I love this. Like, I opened they, this one up. Oh, above look at that. Ago. That is so beautiful. You should put some shiny, like, put like a necklace or something. Something <gasps> like silver, something, you know, Ooh. a little shiny or like a mirror. Sorry, they're giving me, they're telling me to talk. I don't know. They keep talking. I'm like, that's a good yeah. idea, actually. There is one thing, too. If you feel like you have a problem, they will make you talk. I'm a talker <laughs> to do with them, too. I would say for sure. But yeah, no, um, Gabrielle, they, the fairies definitely love pretty things. That's why I was like, like, Cassius should put like a necklace or something shiny or like a coin even. Oh, yeah, get a coin. Just put a coin and that is like a $2 coin. The one with the gold. Is it real gold? Cassius, you know, is like the Canadian dollar is actually real gold, like around. Oh, on the Canadian? Yeah, like, the $2 one. Because uh, I don't, I don't know. So. I yeah, I don't think so. They, they can help me with a scooper. Yes, they can help you with anything. Like, you're like, oh, I don't know what. I don't have any thoughts. Even today, when I was like about to like do this like meeting, I was like, okay, I got to formulate like, you know, like thoughts what i want to talk about because i talk a lot and they were like you have everything in your brain we can just help you get it out so just write you know and you're good and like that's what cash said too and i was like wait that's true like everything is in your subconscious so if you ever need they just pull it out and help you say it and you're like or like do it you know do work <laughs> i love that i love that <laughs> What did you even type to find that? I just searched up aerial dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I always think of when people send me memes, I always, I always think like, type to find that. Because I might be typing <laughs> weird things to find certain memes. Like... <laughs> <laughs> some kids type shit. No, oh my god, Rabbi Astro Party, please, please host it up with a pink heart on the side. Another pink heart. No. It's been too long. Right? Yeah, I'll throw like a wild party for real. No, for real, because I really want to like, and now that I'm more aware in the Astro, I can actually remember if I go and like, I want to like, oh. see, like, oh my god, I'm like just so excited. <laughs> Do more stuff in the Astro. So, yeah, oh, we're actually going to have a vampire party. You can oh, come. Oh, vampire party. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I wanna know. Like, about, yes, you know, Chris, you're coming. Ash is coming. Elea coming. Me. We'll do it. You know, vampire gang. <laughs>
vampires? I love that. No, because I'm like, I just don't like humans portraying vampires and every other being that's dark as bad, like in TV shows and reality. Like, like guys, guess what? We can all be good and bad. Angels can be good and like you'd be shocked what angels can do, actually. <laughs> people forget that angels killed so many people, you know, like at the beginning of time to protect. Girl, I'm a I'm an angel and I am a vampire. <laughs> Exactly. I am both. I got the best of the both. Exactly. Yin yang for real. They showed me some nature to get something from that big tree. Oh, I, I really love like when we create with like nature. So, like you make like a little fairy house with some sticks or like or, like flower or like if, if you have like dried flowers, don't throw them out. Put them in a jar or something in a flower vase, cleanse it and just keep it there. Just keep it in your altar pretty like after a few days, I promise. Because the energy, the phase are going to like put their energy in it. I don't like throwing out dead plants because it's like, you know, it's like he's as the core. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Can I go? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe done. I'm just talking with you guys. Oh, he oh, was no, talking about the vampire. The park. Yeah, vampire oh. park. <laughs> I thought he was like, can I leave the class? I was like, bro, yeah, what are you even asking? Cool. You're a vampire. <laughs> Free will, babe. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I love that. I love that. Idea. Bro's name is Chris Vampire. You you know you're a vampire. And you're asking me if you can't go, bro. You don't even need my permission. You're a vampire yourself. <laughs> Just come. Put me out of my body. I love when you guys say that in the chat. You're all like, can you pull me out of my body so we can both atrophy? I saw like when catches, you know, the third you open up, but you're like, oh, who wants to visit me in the astro? And people were like, can you pull me out? Can you come get me? And I was like, oh my God. They wanted to like take them on, like an astro school bus, you know? By the way, one time okay. I actually did that. Someone was actually... asking me. And yeah, they were asking me so much, bro. Literally gave me like earth home address. <laughs> like I need that, bro. <laughs> Wait, he gave me. He DM me his oh, home address like in the DM. Okay. He was he that really desperate. Was, he really was the astro project. And yeah. the funny thing, I actually went because like he was asking me so much. I told him like, tell your guide I am coming. If they let me, I will try. Just no promises. And I actually went to his house, standing on his door, and there's like there's like five astro guards, guy like guarding his uh, physical body, and they're like, he can't come in. <laughs> And, okay and they were like oh he's already out like his astral body is not inside his physical body right now he's already astral traveling bro you yeah, didn't need me I... <laughs> and one of the I... guys yeah and I'm one of the guys that. gave me a map and told me oh he he's there right now and i look at the map and it says andromeda bro i was like i didn't even oh, never went to andromeda yet this guy is asking me for help and he's in andromeda right now <laughs> <laughs> no, but that is so because like we don't realize how powerful we are sometimes. Yeah. Like, oh, we need help. It is like, no, you can do this yourself. The Astro Bus Gang. No, actually, guys, can we can we do no. this for real? Like, just create. Oh, because no, we can actually get an Astro Bus. And like, hey guys, come five thirty. Five thirty, knowing there's no time in the Astro. Five thirty, pick up, and then you know the bus comes up. How does the theme song go for the Magic School Bus? Maybe you know I have yeah. a spaceship. <laughs> you don't need a bus. No. I have a spaceship. Look <laughs> at Astro Spaceship Party. Pull up at 5 p.m., guys. Bring your I'm gonna up bro, bro, all bro. of you. Bring your energy. Bring everything. Bring your friends. Bring the fairies. Got like I don't care. Bring anything. Bring Vip and Vip. Everyone. Vip and Vip. Bring them. Vip. 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 Right now, <laughs> like I'm acting like I drank coffee. Vip but and Vip. The fairies are. <laughs> yeah. They're very hype right now. So a lot of energy streaming. I'm gonna. I'll back all of you with the Vipan Web. <laughs> I just, I love, I really, really love the fact that, like, the Astro exists. It's that we can get away from this body sometimes and go up there, you know? Or oh, yes. rather through. I feel like when we see the Astro is up, is it really up though? You think about it, it's probably just through, you know? It's within. When you got some Astro pizza, oh my god, I haven't had pizza in so long. You brought that up and now I'm looking at my phone, like, my guys are looking at me like, <laughs> no, I can't order. I'm gonna not think about the Astro pizza, right? I'm so hungry. What do you guys eat today? Tell me. I want to hear what everyone ate. Okay. Um. I think I'm uh, Andy. We can stop recording if we haven't already stopped. I'm not sure. All right, guys. When are you not? I'm gonna go take someone out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, have fun. This was an amazing class, Fabi. Thank you for making this. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming. Bye, y'all. Um. If you guys don't have any last words, I'm gonna go to.